Hello, my friends. Today we are going to continue along with our lessons on directions. We did last week, we talked about north, east, south, and west, along with our rights and our lefts. And we are going to continue with our compass rows. I gave this lesson earlier today, and I realized that I jammed a whole bunch of information into one lesson. So I'm going to break it up into two lessons right now um, uh, for our YouTube channel. So this first lesson is going to be on the compass rows and where, when you look at a map or a piece of paper, which way north, south, east, and west live with the compass rows. So for this lesson, you will need your compass rows. You can see mine's already colored. And this is the part where you can pause, get your paper out, and you can color yours however you want to color. I chose these colors because I these colors were speaking to me today. I wanted to use these colors. Um, let's see here. My friend Alexander, he did it differently. See, he chose the colors that were speaking to him today. And then my friend Franklin, he chose different colors as well. So he just did what he wanted to do. That's your choice. You get to choose whatever color you want. We also have this sheet here. It went with some labels for the map that we will do for our next lesson. So we have these two. Join me down here so you can see what I'm doing. We have my compass rose. So like I said, this is your time to color your compass rose, whatever color you want and I'm going to write my labels. So I'm gonna push this to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my, get my pincher out. This is where I put my pencil in my pinch, remember? Okay, just like that, see? It's like he's eating the pencil, right? You want him to eat the pencil. So I'm going to trace, starting with north, n, a, r, t, ha. Now you can see there's two of them, so I'm gonna do it again. Na, ah, ra, ta, ha, north. Next one is south. Sa, ah, uh, ta, ha. And I'm gonna do it again. The third one is east, eh, ah. Remember, we repeat it. There's two labels because we're going to use one label for the compass rose and the other label for our map. Last one is west. Wa, eh, Okay. Here we go. You see, I have done my labels. North, south, east, and west. Now what you see here are these dark, thick black lines. And this is where I'm going to cut out my labels. We're getting good at this too, right? We've been doing a lot of tracing and cutting. So remember our pincher again, but we're gonna turn them upside down. We're gonna put my two fingers on the bottom and my thumb at the top. And remember when we cut, open, shut, open, shut. So I'm gonna cut these out. Um. You finished? Have this set of labels that I'm going to cut and I'm going to save for my next lesson. Now you might watch the next lesson right after this, or maybe you'll do it tomorrow. So, either way, I want you to put these labels, these four labels, in a safe place. And I'm going to put these together. My map. This is the next lesson. Okay. Put it in a folder so that I don't lose it. Uh, 
Alexander, what's your question? Can I cut out the outlines of my compass? Around this? Uh-huh. If you'd like to. Okay, everybody, remember where this paper goes. Does this paper go on the ground? No. No, of course not. Does this paper stay on the table? Yes. No, it doesn't, silly goose. This paper goes into my recycling bin or, or trash can at home, okay? So I'm gonna set it to the side, and when I'm finished with my video, I will take this to the garbage can. Unless you wanna take that to me right now. Sure. He's gonna take it to my recycling bin, okay? Yeah, Alexander, would you take Franklin's too? Yes, I don't know. Well, that's okay. If you don't have any, that's okay. So, let's read our labels. This says East. This says South. And I'm going to put them to the side, actually. There we go. East, South, North, and West. And now we get to put them on our compass rose. So when we look at this, this compass rose remind us, reminds us of the stars. And if you would believe it, a very long time ago, people used to find their way with directions by following the stars. So this compass actually makes me think of a time when we used the stars to find our way. I have isn't that so crazy? Like a boat the, and you took lots and lots. That's right. So boats used to find their way by somebody, looking at the stars at night. Somebody saw stars. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of history, but this is our compass rose. Now I'm gonna put this down and I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to get confused here. I tend to get these mixed up, especially looking at this upside down. So bear with me. We're going to start at the beginning. When I look at a map, the top of the map is north. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find north. No, that's not north. That's not north. I'm not no, far. north. So I see north. North. I'm going to put it upside down. I'm going to borrow some glue from my friend here. A little dot of glue. And north goes at the very top just like this. The other side of north, when I have north this way, behind north, south. So at the bottom, I'm gonna find my south label. <laughs> south? No, it's not south. So, so, south. Here we go. South is here. Sure. So here's South. I'm going to put him on the bottom because when we look at a map, the bottom of the map is South. Okay, so we have two other ones. We have East and we have West. When I wake up in the morning and I face the sun, that is facing East. Remember, we talked about this last week. When the sun rises, it's in the east. So let's see here. This actually points to where my sun rises. So I'm gonna face my body and I'm gonna bring you up here just as a review. I'm gonna face where my sun comes up in the morning. The sun comes up in the east. Oh, it's so like this. When you look at that, we're talking about the right-hand side here, right? Oh, so this is the right-hand side of your map when you look at it. So this is east. I will take my east label. I'm going to dot it with a little bit of glue. And there is east. Now I'm going to put them up. I'm going to put them sideways because I made my labels a little too big. And that's okay. East. So Let's review again. If I'm facing east and the sun is coming up in the morning, behind me is west. And that's where the sun goes down at night. I like to watch the sun sunset. So I know where the sun is going down in my house and it's on this side of my house. So when I look at my map, it's exactly the same. 
if I'm facing east, behind me is west. So I will flip him over, put a little dot of glue, and this is west. So now I know, and if I hang this up in my house, that when they're facing the correct directions, I know behind me right now is north. In front of me is south because my body is facing south. Down here, because I'm facing this way towards you, but in my house, that's south. To my, to my right is east, and to my left is west. And that is our compass rose. Now, this might not make any sense right now, but when we put these directions on a map, I believe they will make more sense to you, okay? So that is my lesson. And that is my lesson for you today for directions. Um, if you have any comments or questions, um, please reach out. If not, I want to thank you for joining my lesson. And the next lesson will be how we relate these directions to a map. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.